Hello everyone and welcome to a new video on my channel. I'm Adam and welcome to Battle of the Beast New Generation episode number 25. We got two more beasts here, uh, which is another fan battle actually, and both these beasts have the habit of uh, dissembling themselves to bones and then reassembling themselves back to what they are. So that is kind of obvious for who they are if you know what the four remaining beasts of battle are. That means you also know what the last matchup is and I bet if you know, you're really excited for it. So am I. Um, so with the, these beasts, um, with their series at the moment, uh, we got um, one side, which is currently one out of three with beasts that's made it through to round two, um, which isn't that good. But hopefully after this battle, maybe it could be two out of four. But then again, on the other hand, there's the other beast, which is a flawless at the moment, two out of two. And after this battle, if this beast wins, it'll be three out of three. So, with that, let's see what the uh, challenges are that's going to be fighting for one of the last spots in round two. We got Stridor the Skeleton Dragon versus Electro the Stormbird. Both of these beasts have the power to turn themselves to bones and reassembling themselves. However, though... Um, because one conducts electricity and one conducts fire, fire, conducts, uh, controls fire, once the light in stri inside Strysaw dies, he's dead, and once Electro stops giving off a light buzzing sound, which electricity has, like cackling sound, he's dead. Uh, just before I get that clear, uh, this seems to be a good battle, as both these pieces can also fly, so I'm really excited for that. But, let's get to the stats. Stritor the Skeleton Dragon. This beast forms himself out of a pile of bones, right before Tom and Eleanor's eyes. He takes the form of a vast skeletal dragon, glowing a hideous white against the night sky. Questers can see his fiery breath forming in his hollow belly, but are usually powerless to save themselves from his blasts. And now onto his abilities. Flight. Agile, fire breath, reform and deform bones, summon skeleton army, sharp fangs and sharp claws proving one effective opponent in the tournament. Electro the Stormbird. In the land of Pylorus there dwells three beasts created when the legendary warrior known as Tanner defeated the beast Krokal, turning him into three smaller creatures. This giant metallic bird is a fearsome foe who surges out of electrical power or deadly during rainstorms. Now for his awesome abilities. Flight, electricity powers, sharp bone beak, sharp bone talons, power increases in rain, reform and deforming bones, and the metallic bone skeleton proving one deadly opponent in the tournament. Three, two, one! Battle! Stritor vs Selectro. Let's get into this. So, as both beasts exit from their chambers, both going through the sky exit, they instantly see each other, and um, uh, Electro calls on the power of thunder by thunder and uh, conducts an electricity, starts flying towards um, Stritor as quick as he can. Just to um, get that bite, electrical bites of it, of an on him. Stritor, however, um, has already called summoned up, uh, called up a fire and shoots out a jet of fire towards Electro. Electro um, sees that and, using his wing, deflects it um, with the power of electricity to deflect it as well. And uh, the and Electro collides straight into Stritor, which causes cracks to appear over Stritor's bones. But nothing fatal, and Electro bites into Strides, one of Stritor's bones as well, which causes an electrical, electrical shock to go through Stritor, which causes his bones to just deassemble and just fall to the ground. Um, however, Stritor instantly gets back up and shoots a jet of fire towards Electro, which hits Electro, causing him to disintegrate to bones. But he instantly rebuilds himself again and such. Um, and just lands on top of Stritor with his talons, 
Just uh, out of Streisel's reach where he can't reach him with his wings, talons, or head. However, Electro forgot to take into account with Streisel's tail, which hits Electro straight in the head, knocking him over. But he's uh, called on the power of thunder to just uh, zap Streisel, which uh, caused him both to fall to bones. Electro is the first to regain himself and um, just calls on the power of thunder again to zap the Streisel's bones, which are just there, not controlling themselves yet. Once that zap is over, Streisel rebuilds himself now and shoots back with fire towards the next oncoming thunder, which, which puts out the thunder and uh, lightning and he angles the fire going towards Electro which is continuous fire, which Electro blocks with his wings, but um, the, some of the flames are still hitting Electro, and uh, Electro is making his way closer to Stritor, not being able to see where it's going, just making his way closer. Um, whilst Stritor was still bringing out the fire, he used his um, skeleton claws to just slash at Electro's wings, causing um, the bone on one of Electro's uh, wings, the tip of it, let's say, just to break and Electro can't fly anymore. Uh, Electro moves his wings away as Tritor extinguishes the flame, and Tritor straight away snaps at Electro. Electro is able to get back and make his way round Tritor to uh, bite down on Tritor's uh, wing as well, with his beak being strong enough to shatter the bone and breaks Tritor's wing, just like Electro, just like Tritor did to Electro. Um, they they both uh, Streisel roars in pain as Electro squawks uh, to drown out that, but fails because roars are louder than squawks. And um, uh, Streisel rolls on his back to get Electro off. However, Electro uh, tries to fly off with his one wing just to get to safety. And then. He makes his way up to Streisel's head, bites down on the uh, on an eye socket just to cause an electrical shock to go through Streisel, call on the power of thunder to um, hit Streisel whilst he's doing that. Streisel is violently shaking but fighting through that and the uh, cracks are appearing around his eye now. He uses his claw and swats Electro to the side and as Electro's getting back up, he Streisel snaps at Electro. Electro instinctively uses wings to deflect it and it bites right through the bone, shattering Electro's wing. Electro squawks in pain and uh, is instantly greeted again by fire building up in Streisel's body. Uh, Electro, realising that he can't deflect it now, um, dives out of the way before the fire hits the arena wall and the fire just spreads up the arena wall, realising that he would have been a goner if he uh, stayed there. Uh, yep, yeah, so uh, Electro, Streisel turns his head to attack with the fire, attack Electro with the fire. Streisel's just, Electro's just staying out of Electro's, Streisel's way, but didn't realise he's backing up, he backs away into Streisel's claw, which he, uh, which Streisel wraps his uh, talent, his claw, around one of Electro's talons, Chucks him in front of the fire that Streisel has, and Electro gets covered in the fire. He can feel his bone. He Electro can feel his bones going more bristle. And once the fire stops, Electro is now completely covered in uh, black, where his bones have been charred and are completely brittle. Streisel makes his way over to Electro, and using his uh, claw, his claws. He swipes out Electro, uh, just causing the bones to just break immediately, and Electro's head just falls down to the ground. Uh, Stritor listens out, but can still hear a faint cackling, in which Stritor lifts his head up and crushes um, Electro's head with that, and the cackling stops. With that, Stritor has won, Electro has lost, causing two dragons to make it through to round two, and now... Now Series 24 has lost its first beast, which is Electro. Um, so with that, uh, if you think Electro should have won, please in the comments below why you think that. However, Stritor has won. Uh, and he'll be going through to round two. Um, now, with this, 
I chose to give Strytor the victory as simply, um, even though being shocked by electricity can kill uh, normally when you're flying, um, when his wings went out of commission, yeah, whilst well, he still gets an electrical shock and it will hurt, it just doesn't do much because at the end of the day, it's still an electrical shock which can kill, but with no organs that can suddenly stop from that. It's not going to do much. So, um, theoretically, uh, Strytor has a chance in winning this. If Even if he goes against Thoron, Thoron, a beast that Strytor can't touch, he still has a chance because Thoron has the power of electricity, which will hurt, but won't kill. While Strytor can uh, just, I don't know, burn Thoron, I don't know. But yeah... The thing is, though, Strytor has a chance in winning, going straight to round three, maybe. But, yeah, but that's the uh, end of this video. That's a side tangent, anyway. Strytor won, Electro's lost. With that, that's all for this time. Join me in, in the final battle of round one, where we'll have two fan-favourite beasts fighting each other. Till then, peace out.